Hi third graders, so another way that we can show and solve multiplication problems is using arrays. So you might have heard of an array before in second grade, but just to remind you, an array is a set that shows equal groups in rows and columns. Okay, so those words are very important to understand. Rows, say this is our array over here, this is an example of an array. Rows go across. Okay, so this array right here has two rows. One, two rows going across. Okay. Let's see. Columns go up and down. So this array example over here has one, two, three columns. So we have three columns going up and down. Okay, so when we think about a multiplication equation and how to solve it using an array, we have to again look at our factors to tell us information. So the first factor, our three, tells us how many rows to make. Our second factor, the five, tells us how many columns to make. You can also think of that as um, how many to put in each row because if you have um, five columns, each row will have five as well. So it's however you um, like to think about it. Okay, so now I'm going to build my array. Have a different color. So I need three rows, and remember, rows go across. I'm going to have one, two, three, okay? So if I build this way, I'll have three rows going across, and I need to have five columns. Now, it's important to count this column in that five. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So I have three going across and five going down. Okay, my three rows and my five columns. But I, this is not a complete array. So now that I have my rows and my columns built, I'm just going to fill in the rest of my array. Okay, so since my first row of three, my first column of three, so I have three rows, I need to make sure every column has three rows. So now I have a complete array that has three rows with four columns, I mean five columns. Three rows with five columns or three rows with five in each column. Okay, so now what I can do is I can count how many I have in all to find my product, or I can look for equal groups in my array. So we have three groups with five columns in each group. Okay, so I could use a repeated addition sentence of five plus five, plus five, okay? This is one of my groups. The next row is my second group. And then I have three groups. So the rows kind of make nice equal groups for us in order to add. So five plus five equals 10, 10 plus five equals 15. So if I were to count my array, I would count 15 circles for a product of 15. So again, the first factor tells you how many rows to make. One, two, three. The second factor tells you how many columns to make or how many to put in each row. One, two, three, four, five.
Okay, go ahead and solve the problems on the next slide using arrays.